This man was in a ditch, bloody mess. This man was dying. This man had been stripped of his raiment. And the Bible says he was left half dead. And there came down the road a priest and a Levite. But then finally, a Samaritan came down the same road. And the Samaritan, look at the text, it says he goes over, stay with me now, and looks at the man. And the Bible says he had compassion. Compassion. Everybody say compassion. He had compassion on the man. And his compassion led him to do something about his compassion. Because remember, I told you now, compassion or love is not what it says, but what it does. And if love never does anything, if compassion never does anything, then that's a questionable love. That's a questionable compassion. He had compassion, so he did several things. He goes, he gets off of his horse. He gets down in the mud with the man. He gets in the ditch. He binds up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine. He puts him on his beast and carries him into town and pays the bill up. He says, listen, if, you, I, if I owe you anything else, I'll pay you when I I come back he did something because he had compassion and the thing is nobody was watching nobody was there to give him an award for helping the sick nobody was there to give him a plaque for getting the man out of the ditch nobody was there to speak good words of, of, of compliment because he was helping this poor man nobody saw it see you got to be careful of people who can't do any good if nobody is watching Glory to God. That's why when we began feeding the hungry and we were getting uh, uh, plans together to, to, to give out food and distribute food, not as a handout, but a hand up. When we were preparing that. I told our members, listen, we're going to do this not because everybody else is doing it. If we are doing this because everybody else is doing it or it's fashionable to do now, then we are doing it for the wrong reasons. We're doing it for men's accolations. We're doing it so that men can speak well of us. But do it because there's a genuine compassion. There's a genuine love down in your heart for those who are hungry. That you have concern for them. Huh? That you have confidence. That you have cooperation. And that you have competence. Don't do it just to be seen. No, 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 no. Don't do it just to be well spoken of by men. There are people in our church uh, 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 who, 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 who know about, I don't think a lot of the other church members may know, but they fix their own food at home. They fix plates and get in their car and go to where hungry people are and pass out the food that is at their house that they bought. They give it to the poor without any fanfare without any announcements, without any cameras, without any Facebook coverage, without them being on YouTube. They just quietly go about doing it. That's compassion. So you've got to surround yourself. And I challenge you in 2021, surround yourself with people who are compassionate toward you. Huh? Not just to be seen, but then there are some people who are compassionate toward you that will redirect you. Huh? They will redirect you. What do you mean, preacher? Okay. All right. They're, they're, listen, um, uh, there are some people in your life that will drain you. They will drain you literally of all of your resources. But now watch this. As it relates to drainers, there are some God sent drainers, huh? God will send people into your life because he know that you have what they need. Oh God, <laughs> he know that you have what they need. You've got to understand brothers and sisters and know this, that when God blesses you, it is not for you. I need to let that sink in. When God blesses you, it is not for you you when god blesses you it is for you to be a blessing hear me to somebody else who is in need and there will always be an opportunity to exercise compassion toward those who are less fortunate than you are so god will send the drainers <laughs> who will drain you and every time they drain you